Hey, this is Kev from Blender Binge. In this quick video, I want to show you the animation workspace tab in Blender 2.8. Ready? Let's go. So, in this version, we now have these little tabs at the top, and they correspond to the different things that we would be doing inside of Blender. So, for example, I'm going to click on animation because that's what the video is about. And it changes the workspace. So you see here I have camera view. I now have my 3D view here. And I have my timeline. Okay, and it's similar to other versions of, of Blender in that you had that little drop down menu. But this is much more streamlined. So to animate is pretty simple. You have an object. And you have a timeline. And you say you want your object to be at a certain spot at a certain time and then you want your object to be at another spot at another time and the computer draws the frames in between. So how do we do that? Well we have our cube and I'm just gonna hit space bar and I'm gonna hit transform and I like this transform tool because it gives me these cool manipulators and I can do all sorts of stuff like scale it and rotate it and and whatever else I want in one tool so I like this tool. So to set a keyframe let me see, I'm going to pull this guy back a little bit, and I'm going to tell it at frame 1, which is my timeline, I look at my timeline, this is frame 1, this blue line tells me it's frame 1. I go here and I hit I, and I say, for this, I'm going to say, I'm just going to say location, for now. And now I have these, this, turn, this changes over here to this kind of pukey color gives me these little diamond shapes telling me that there's keyframes and I see it's lit up down here telling me there are keyframes on frame one. Okay, so now I have this, this is active. If I expand this, you see I have keyframes here telling me that I have keyframes on frame one. So, if I were to go out to say uh, frame 24, which will be one second of animation out, and you can see by if you go under render here, this uh, frame rate, 24 frames per second, okay, this is telling you how many frames are going to be in one second worth of animation. And you can change that, but I'm going to leave it 24. And go back here to this little cube and properties, and you can see that I have nothing set here, okay, it's still green, which tells me that there's something active on this channel. This green tells me that this channel is active, but we're in between keyframes here. There's nothing set. So if I were to pull this guy out, okay, I'm at frame 24, I were to pull this guy out over here, and I hit I for insert keyframe, I'm going to hit location again, and now it turns this kind of puke color again, and here I have an animation. So if I were to rewind and hit play, you see this moves. Okay, Pretty simple, pretty straightforward. And if I were to go to, say, frame 12, pull this guy up a little bit, hit I, and I can say available or location. Alright, that available just takes whatever's available to be keyframed and just sets a keyframe on it. And it turns it this color again. And now I have an animation of this. Right. I can go in between these frames and I can hit other other things. So I can drag that around, hit I, okay, keyframe it there. And now I have that. So it's pretty simple and straightforward to start animating. And you can really start controlling this by either going in and setting keyframes. Okay, you can you can select a row, a whole row of these by I'm going to collapse this so I move everything at once and I'm going to right click and drag, pull this guy out and hit enter. And now you'll see that it's it totally this still goes as fast as it was and this takes a long time to return to this so it's you're just kind of moving this keyframe out and telling your animation to play a lot longer so if, if I were to right click on these click and drag with the right mouse button let go and hit enter all right you'll see that my animation changes even more so now it slows down here goes down and then just slowly comes back up so you can play around with your keyframes you can even delete keyframes. So if I'm on these and I go and hit delete, I could say delete keyframes. Now that's gone. So now it won't dip anymore. It'll just go up and then slowly come back down. 
So you really need to go in and start playing with this to get a handle of it. But that's how you handle keyframes inside of Blender. Now there are other things like the dope sheet and the, the graph editor, which are really, really cool. I'll show you the graph editor now. The graph editor, okay, you can go ahead and, and change this over here, this little button, and say graph editor. You now you have these animation curves. And these show you exactly where your animation is happening. So if I were to expand this little button here, and you see these little eye eye things, okay, we see location. Here's my like, X location, here's my Y location, and here's my Z location. Okay, so X location isn't doing anything. We're not moving anywhere on the X, so it's completely flat. But my Y location, okay, you can see here, starts off here, slowly goes up, and then moves and that's corresponding to, you'll see as it plays over time, goes up and then slowly settles back down. And my Z location, all right, it's going to shoot, it shoots here, and then it slowly moves in that position. So watch, it goes fast, and then it slowly keeps moving in that direction. Okay, so this is, this is uh, time, and this is distance. So you can go ahead and right-click on any of these. So if I'm on Z location, so I'm going to click and drag, and you can see that I can start pulling things around. So I can, I can really start manipulating my keyframes in here as well. So while we were dragging those keyframes around in the other view, in here you can start really kind of playing around with where these things are. So just like there, you, you would go, you right-click, drag, and then hit enter to place it. And you also have these Bezier curves where you can right-click, drag, and change the Bezier curves hit enter and now you have completely different shapes for your animation so we'll have it kinda go down and then up again so watch this now animation plays ooh, goes down and then comes back up so it's really kinda messing with the whole animation and it takes some playing around with you just go in and you play with it and you'll start understanding what these things do and we also have what's called interpolation modes for these so we can select a keyframe, all right, or or we can shift select two keyframes at once, and then over here, all right, we can go to key, and we can have we have easing type, which is automatic. We have ease in, we have ease out, or we can go to interpolation mode, and we can get rid of these beziers by just going interpolation mode linear, and it gets rid of it, and now it's just straight from one to the next. So this just makes it linear and you can see it's just a linear motion. There's quite a bit you can do with this and uh, without this video going too too long here this is a good place to get started and and just kinda understand how animation works. So with that hopefully you got something out of this video and if you have any questions hit me up in the comments and if you like this video hit like subscribe hit that little bell notification and I'll just keep making more. Thanks. Talk to you later. Bye.